All right, so today is September the 8th, and so this is before testing. So please tell us a little bit about what the symptoms are you're having. Um, I have a sharp stabbing pain in my scapula area on the left, um, between my spine and my scapula, and um, I've had it for several months and um, it was severe last week and it has gone down. Um, it was going down into my, in my shoulder and down my arm, but right now it's just in my back. So right now it's about a, depending on the day or the time of day, it's a three to seven. Um, and I think that's where I'm at. And then, yeah. and then my hip pain, uh, my right um, hip, uh, I have a sharp pain in the back top of my hip, and uh, that's about a four right now. And I'm not sure, but I think it might be um, a tightness in the muscles in my hip or hamstrings. So when you lie down, do these things get worse? Um, when I lie on my left side, um, when I'm going to bed, my um, shoulder is worse. I can't lie on that side. Um, if I adjust and lie on my back or my right side, usually it's fine. Um, my hip does not bother me um, unless I'm moving and turning um, in bed. But other than that, it doesn't bother me to sleep. So both of these are something that you feel right now? Um, my hip, I'm not feeling at this very, very moment. Okay, but you, between your, yeah, at your shoulder. Yeah, this morning bed. I did, yeah. And is there a particular activity that makes it worse? Um, both? Either or? Um, any, any lifting or up and down, like house cleaning or gardening, will bother my hip for sure. Um, and then my back shoulder pain is pretty much a constant. It's not, there's nothing that makes it better or worse right now. Okay, so moving it around doesn't make it better or worse. No, or? trying to get a different position does not re reduce the pain at and all. And lying down doesn't reduce it. No. no. Okay. All right, thank you. So we just did some testing, and um, what kind of response did you feel in the? Um, my shoulder went probably from a four to about a two. And, and you're also noticing that by moving it around in circles and moving it back and forth because you've done that before, right? Right, and um, and my hip seems good. I got a little twinge in the left side. But when you were moving around, we were trying to aggravate it and right. try to set it off, yeah. Right, and so I got a little twinge on my left side, but the right side seems okay right now. And, um, yeah, probably just about a two in the, my shoulder. Okay, great. So that's that's what we call a positive test. That's positive. Yeah, meaning mm -hmm. that um, by reducing the meningeal compression, then we're getting a positive change in the areas that were symptomatic.